Hi guys, today I have a game for you in the Tier 10 German Destroyer, the Z-52, or as Europe likes to say it, the Z-52. <clears throat> but, there's a couple reasons I'm show showcasing this game. I've always said, A, on this map, especially for battleships, is a trap. Even for cruisers, and it can be a trap for destroyers. It doesn't mean you need to neglect the cap. The thing with A is, there's only two entrances, i.e. there's also two exits. Wargaming did it's intentional. Going in today, into A is a high risk uh, thing because once you're in, the enemy team knows something's in there. And there's only two ways for it out. Now, instead of beelining straight into A, because there is a carrier, there are four DDs per side. Let me see if I can get some early spots on anybody possibly coming to the side. Now, I am also going by my RPF. RPF hasn't swung over to somebody going into A. RPF is telling me somebody's advancing you know, still, like, straight up. Now, RPF does point to the square that they're in. Instead of uh, the ship like it used to. But still, like, you know. Just by this simple information right here. Look, the GK is kind of in the same square I am. So, RPF isn't pointing that way. It's pointing to the 1-2 line. Which means something went out wide a little bit earlier. Just like I am doing. We're going out wide. Now, I know these are 10.5 kilometer torps. But the Des Moines was 11 something and pushing in. Oh look, there's the gearing. Now, I'm going to hit my uh, hydro early. Because it takes about 6 seconds for when the ship is unspotted to become spotted for teammates. So if you pop it before they disappear, they're, they're on the hydro, so there is no downtime in between being spotted and unspotted. And I did that for my carrier. The other thing is I wanted to push out a little bit. Yes, I'm going to use my smoke cloud because, you know what, why not? I have this island to protect me from the... Um, from the Des Moines radar. Now, I believe this guy's blind fired me his first couple shots because, like I said, it does take six seconds. Uh, or I just didn't see that I was radar sooner. But here's the thing. Safe behind this island. There's nothing the curfers can do. The secondaries aren't even on me. They're on the, the, uh, the Holland here. The Des Moines got me on radar. The Garing can't shoot me anymore, but I'm keeping the Garing spotted, and my Hydro is going to last way longer than the Moines Lander. So pretty much I just got to stay comfortable here, just wait for a little bit, and then I can make my move to push out the Daring, or the Daring, the Garing. Oh, the sniffles are real. But here's the thing, radar is down now, guys. I'm going to try to push this gearing out. I'm going to try to push this guy into position to where somebody could potentially get him. You know, if not me, somebody else. <clears throat> but just by by pushing a little bit, I, I'm going to utilize his smoke against him, hopefully. Now, while it doesn't go all the way over, I can still utilize his smoke. Now, I am going to send Torps against the Montana. I did fail to see that the guy was going away. Now, I did go a little bit more uh, gun heavy uh, instead of torp heavy with the Enemy Z because up. of floodings. I'm not trying to get my damage through floodings anymore. I'm trying to get it through fire. So what I'm trying to do is send the torps, get the flood, smoke up, and then shoot it to death and, you know, burn it. Now, I do have the gearing smoke that I can't abuse for a little bit, but here's the thing. 
There was no reason for me to continue pushing up onto that side, especially with the Des Moines there and the carrier. Let me stay close to the Holland. Most carriers will not go after a Holland, so I'm utilizing his A8. Carrier has to know he's over here. He's been spotted. Here goes the Ohio into the A cap. Now, another reason I decided to showcase this game is because even though you usually see the bus games out of me, I've made, uh, we're all human, we make mistakes. And if you don't learn from your mistakes, you're never going to get good as a player. And if you don't see people ma making the mistakes, if all you see is superb gameplay, how are you going to get better? Now, I'm sending preemptive torpedoes against the Des Moines, hoping that he's going to turn out. But I believe the Ohio's secondary is 11-3. I could be wrong. I don't know. But in my mind, I'm going with 11-3 uh, as his secondary range. Now, I do need to reset this cap. But here's another thing. It's going to take the guy a second to click on me. It's going to take another second for his secondaries to become into play. And I am pushing towards an island that is going to be able to conceal me. So you can see his secondaries didn't get many shots off, but it's, those secondaries do hurt, guys. But, you know what, I was able to keep the guy, uh, you know, you know, we did uh, decap the guy. Now, I might as well shoot at the Des Moines because getting ships off the board is good. I should have just turned my AA on at this point, guys. I was spotted, I was shooting, it could have helped. Uh, there's no harm, especially when you're spotted and you're actively shooting. Just, just turn your AA on. When the planes go away, you can turn it off. Now, our team, for whatever reason, has decided to abandon D and really not put much of a fight up over there. Now, the Holland, the Curfers, and myself are all trying to make the exact same play. We want to go in after this Ohio. I don't fault the Curfers too much because he needs to get somewhere relatively safe to potentially heal up. But also, in my opinion, he might have been better off turning out and, and not pushing in, especially when there's the Holland and myself here. He, he could come in close for support, but going into the cap, maybe not the best idea because it's really going to limit his mobility, i.e. being able to dodge any sort of thing from the carrier. Now, I'm only going to send one. I probably should have hit my smoke here, and I should have sent these torps exactly where the guy was at because I knew he was going to beach. <coughs> oh, sorry. Except for, you know, towards the front end. But this guy's just, he's just, plain and simple, not going to last long. Now what I'm trying to do is actually turn a broadside and eat all of these torpedoes for our cruise, or for our, our battleship, but Carrier was able to get them off uh, without me being able to do that. Now like I said, there's only two ways in and two ways out. I am going to overstay my welcome in A, for one simple fact of greed. A little bit greedy here. We're losing. We only have two destroyers left to their three. One of which we know where is. The carrier is never going to go after him. Like I said, most CDs will not go after him. And what I mean by greed is, I'm thinking right now, I need to start causing damage. I need to get this cap. I need to get damage. I need to help my team get kills, is what I'm thinking. Here's the thing you guys got to remember. If you are dead, you are no longer contributing to your team. The threat of you being alive sometimes just contributes so much more than you realize. If I'm dead, there's one less CD these, these guys have to worry about. 
Now, I'm really not hitting my Hydro because I'm not expecting torpedoes. Look at where the enemy DDs are spotted. Most of those torpedoes, from the angles they're going to send them, should just go right by me. Oh, look, there's torpedoes spotted going by. I do believe I did see the curve first at his Hydro, so why do I need to bother? I really don't. <clears throat> and this is what I mean. Like, I usually try to burn ships down, but... You know, I am actively, you know, A, potentially pushing or keeping these TVs away from them just by the simple act of being alive. The other thing is Kerfers turned away instead of continuing to push in. Why? There's a smoke cloud. They're shooting at him. I'm going to assume this guy's a smart player till proven otherwise. Shooting in the smoke. That's a sign of a really smart player. Maybe not the greatest. Maybe not the best but he's smart enough to shoot into smoke. That should tell you something. The CV is protecting his two destroyers who are playing fairly close. Now, it's at this point where my greed uh, and somewhat of a panic come into play. What I should have done was really gotten out of eight. I should have held my torpedoes. But what I'm thinking is if I go towards this guy, towards the Republic, and I dive south towards him, I should be able to have a nice easy shot or torps on him. What I failed to probably recognize is he's messing with his speed. I have 40 seconds for my uh uh, smoke to come back. But I mean, here's the thing. I sent these torpedoes prematurely. I should have saved one set of torpedoes. I figured uh, I'm close enough to where these things are going to hit them and potentially kill them. But now it's like, because I waited to do that, this guy did maneuvering, completely misses these torps, completely blocked my way out, but it forces me to dive south to get this guy. If I still had my torpedoes, I gotta torp this guy, turn around, and got out of here. But now I have to wait for this repop. This is a huge mistake. I always say try to hold your torpedoes. The closer these guys are, the better off you're going to be. Now, with my mistake, you guys are actually going to see the power of German AP shells. German AP shells, you know, will do a lot of damage. I mean, look at that, 4,000. You've got to hit unsaturated areas, though. You know, I'm doing about three to 4,000 damage per salvo, potentially. Maybe less. But, I mean, I am getting pen damage. Pen damage is the least repairable. Now, I'm sending one set just to maybe potentially get the daring... Uh, or not to dare to Holland to maybe not push me. But if I would have saved my torpedoes, I might have been able to save uh, my friendly ship. I believe it was the Hindenburg. Uh, I, I don't remember. But if I would have held on to my torpedoes and saved my torpedoes for the guaranteed kill, it would have been less damage check I was able to do. Now I see two DDs coming in and I make another bad decision. I have beyond overstayed my welcome. I should have got out of this cap so much sooner. There's the Holland pushing. The Kerfers is coming from behind. The Shimmy's in front of me. The Daring is in front of me. I'm as good as dead. The Carrier's got his planes over me. You know, it's really not the Carrier that going to get me killed. It was my mistake from getting separated from the team and staying in A too long. The enemy Ohio made a mistake by pushing into A and really not giving himself a good out. Like, there really aren't good out, guys. There's only good opportunities to get out. <clears throat> now, yes, uh, we're going to continue to watch this game even though I'm dead because... It gives me time to talk about some stuff. But here's the thing. Like I said, if you're dead, 
you're being carried. I don't care if you're a super unicorn or if you're the worst player in WoWs. If you are dead at this point, you are win. being carried. The fate of the game is no longer in your hands because you are not there to support your team in any way, shape, or form. The threat of you being there is minutes. gone. And that's why I've always preached, shoot it till it's dead. Get rid of a threat. They have two destroyers to our one. Our shimmy is posted up at Hey, like I said, what option do these guys have to get out of A? It's only the two entrances and exits. We have a Republic set up there. We have our Thunder coming from the other side. Everything that was at D, except for the carrier, is now in A. This is their game to lose. Plain and simple. It's their game to lose. And everybody on the enemy team, except for the carrier, is inside A. And our team is setting up to protect both entrances slash exits. Our shimmy's still here. Granted, he doesn't have any more such torpedoes. Hey, why not throw him in there? You never know. Our Thunderer could potentially get something that's coming out the other way. Oh, look. Our shimmy killed the enemy shimmy. Unfortunately, our repub takes the torpedo. There's a daring. There's the Venezia. The guy's burning. He's probably flooding. So he's not long for the life. But here's the thing. This is still the only opportunity for these guys to get out. The shimmy's torps are on a reload. Oh look, they just came back. But this is their this is the opportunity. The guy's got to make a break. This is his best chance he's ever going to get to get out. Now, luckily, the Shimikaze only sent one set of torps, which means he has two. This Venezia has to respect the fact that there's still torps. Oh, look, the Midway's going after this gentleman. Even if the carrier doesn't get any hits, it's going to force this guy to do something he doesn't. The Shimmy's being smart. The guy's broadside. Shooting him with AP, German, or German, DDAP will hurt. I believe the guy may have sailed back just a little bit too far. Maybe he knew torpedoes were coming in. But hey, it worked out for him. By accident or by not, the guy survived the torpedo strike. <coughs> As the midway comes in and kills the Venezia. I'm being carried, guys, because the only people left contributing to the team is our Midway, the Shimmy, the Thunder, and the Wooster. It doesn't matter that I got three kills. It doesn't matter I got a cap. It doesn't matter that I did. I did all this stuff to support the team, but right now I am being carried. A on this map is a very dangerous trap. It's a very high risk medium reward if you can win the fight at d all you need is two caps really guys you don't even need a but if you're not going to win d then yeah then you've got to fight for a which is why i say it's a medium uh reward because it depends on a situation now i do hope you guys enjoyed this replay i do hope you learn something from this learn from mistakes learn from my mistake not all games are you know ass kicking games guys most of them are just win you know like either good wins or 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 you know you guys just got beat really bad like it, it's just the way thing it's just the way this game is uh i do appreciate all the all the support you guys do give me Please remember to compliment good teamwork, good team play. As you saw in chat, I did compliment people in the game. I do do it. We are slow to compliment, quick to report. Please hit that like and subscribe button and have yourselves one heck of a great day.